of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Cougars. Welcome to SCTV News for Wednesday, October 30th. I'm Eileen Contreras. And I'm Trey Adair. Tomorrow is the big day, Cougars. It is Halloween on campus, and Cougars will be dressing up and filling our school with great costumes. However, as you plan for tomorrow, there are some rules you need to keep in mind. For everyone dressing up for Halloween tomorrow, we have a special guest, Morticia Adams. Ah, greetings, my dear Cougars. The Halloween season is upon us. And while we embrace the spooky, there are a few rules to ensure a safe celebration. Rules. So there are a few things, restrictions on costumes. Like, what about costumes that imply gangs, drugs, or alcohol? Oh, forbidden. What about costumes that reference a different mm -hmm. race, culture, gender, religion, or identity? No, that would spoil our fun. What about props, like guns, knives, swords? Best left in the realm of fantasy. What about masks? We want to see your lovely faces. Now remember, my darlings, these are not just rules, but invitations to a spirited and safe Halloween for all. Happy, Happy Halloween. Halloween! Everyone on campus is excited to see all the costumes tomorrow, including the students who produce SCTV. We will have a team of media students with cameras roaming the campus tomorrow. If you see one of them, don't be shy. We want to see you show off your costume so we can feature you in your Halloween montage. On Friday. You don't have to wait until tomorrow night to go trick-or-treating. Dozens of our Still Canyon staff will be handing out candy at school. Here's how you can take part. Hey Cougars, I'm March and I'm one of the event planners for an event this year taking place on Halloween called Trick or Treat. Me and a group of students wanted to bring spirit to our campus by letting kids be kids again. So we planned an event where students are going to be able to go door-to-door -door during lunch and ask staff for candy. We asked multiple teachers for their participation in the event, and we have 70 teachers and staff who have said yes so far to the event. So, right here, this is the pumpkin. We're going to be putting pumpkins on doors and windows of uh, classrooms and, you know, the offices that will be working with us that will be wanting to hand out candy. And so, once you see a pumpkin, you're allowed to just go to the pumpkin, knock on the door, and ask for candy. And they will gladly hand it out to you. This will be taking place during lunch on Halloween, and for one day we'll be allowing students on the second floor. Security will be up there, so be responsible. We're encouraging everyone to dress in costume for the Halloween spirit, but everyone may participate regardless of whether or not they're in costume. If you don't have a bag to bring, or if you just want to have fun crafting, come to the ASB room in the morning to decorate one with markers and stickers. If you need any, any reminders of the rules and information, check the posters around school or the posts on the ASB Instagram. We will be rallying on the quad at lunch today. The Red Ribbon Rally will take place in a matter of hours. It will be a big part of, and everyone is invited. Club Rise members helped organize the rally, and here's what you can expect. Hi Cougars, today is the big Red Ribbon Rally, uh, where during lunch in the quad, we're going to be painting hands, and uh, students are going to be pledging to be drug free. And please come and support, and we hope to see you there. Thank you. Every Wednesday, SCTV News is partnering with special education teachers and students in room D110 for a weekly weather report. Here's what to expect the rest of the week. Good morning, Cougars. My name is Jason with your weekly weather reports. This week will be partly cloudy with temperatures in the high 60s and low 70s. That's your Wild Reports. Now back to news while Cruz Kupai gets out. Yeah. 
You're invited to participate in Dia de los Muertos this Friday. Our Si Se Puede Club is inviting all cougars to dress up the day after Halloween. Because club members are holding a Katrina contest, if you dress like a school or Katrina on Friday, you're invited to the library to possibly win a prize. Everyone is invited to participate. There's a brand new air band coming together for this year's competition, and the members are having their first meeting this week. And you're invited to participate. This group will be a Hispanic-inspired air band, and they meet on Thursday at lunch in room F106. If you're interested in joining, make plans to stop by and learn more. This Friday is the final regular season football game. When our Cougars welcome Helix to Cougar Stadium, the football program at our school has come a long way since the school opened, as Stefan Ristania explains. Have you ever wondered the history of the Steel Canyon football team? Because even though our school is fairly young, our football team still has a lengthy history. To start off, let's see how much the football players know about their team's history. Man, I know the first varsity team was made 2004, right? And uh, since then, we've had our own field. It's been redesigned some years. We didn't even have a field till we had created the turf. And we were also working on the lower field before that. What you know? Uh, what I know is that we had the Hamishai helmet between us and Valhalla for seven years, which we're not going to give it to them because if we lose, then we have to give it to them, and that's not going to happen. Tight shit, tight shit. And also, I know that we won 2017, say it. The football players know a little bit about the history and traditions of the football team. Let's get the rest of the information from Coach Longerbaum. 2000 was the first year. Uh, I remember we didn't have a football field ready yet, so we were practicing down that lower field. Uh, we only had freshmen, but we had about 100 kids come out. Um, the rough part was we lined them all up on the, the bottom fence right down there by the 94 freeway, and we asked them how many of them had played football before, uh, and five kids raised their hand. So we were working with 95 kids out of 100 that had never played organized football before. So, first couple years were pretty rough, but we made it happen. For SCTV News, I'm Stefan Ristania. All Cougars interested in joining the boys wrestling team this year, please make plans to attend a meeting tomorrow at lunch in the wrestling room. With the season starting soon, coaches will have important information for all wrestlers. See you there tomorrow at lunch in the wrestling room. Our girls volleyball team has advanced to the next round in the CIF playoffs. The Cougars traveled to the Imperial Valley yesterday to play Central Union High School. And after a tough match, it was Stu Kayan that came out on top. The Cougars are on the road again this Friday in the Division Three quarterfinals. Girls flag football is at Canyon Crest today, JV at 4 and Varsity at 515. And girls cross country has a meet at Helix at 4. That's all the news we have for you today. Have a great week. Rah, rah, Cougars. Cougar pride. Get some. <laughs>